it's about 8.30 in the morning. I've had six slices of pizza last night. And then another two this morning. I think that's a whole pie, right? Yeah. Anyway, just got done with my sink laundry. And now I am strolling down to the river to take a river bath. Because that's how I'm rolling. Saving that money. I have the great pleasure of introducing to you Jerry and Sherry, the authors of this incredible trail magic that we've been at. Actually, you're in the shade. But it, would you mind sitting up? Sorry. Sorry, That's Sherry. No, Jerry, you know, right? Jerry, Jerry and Sherry. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> I have the amazing pleasure of introducing to you Jerry and Sherry who are the amazing authors of this incredible trail magic that we've been hanging out at. Um, they've agreed to just kind of share a little bit about what they're doing and why they're doing it. We're uh, Valley View Baptist Church. We're a missionary Baptist church. Uh, we support 50 missionaries all over the world in the United States. And uh, we got them here in the United States and we took on the AT in 2010. And we've been doing trail magic in this hiker field nine years now, and it's just part of being a missionary, and uh, trails right here in our back door, so uh, thousands of people cross our path every year, so they just decided to do this ministry, and, and it's been a blessing to us, and I'm sure it's been a blessing to everybody to get a good meal or a snack when I do trail magic on the trail with my little school bus, and uh, a cheap soda, and a a uh, little Debbie cake goes a long ways. We get a conversation started and just yeah. get to meet people. And that's what we're here for, just to love you and, and nurse you and feed you and, and get you back on the trail. We just love doing it. Yes. Thank you so much for touching our lives. You really make such a difference to us. It's just so encouraging spending this weekend with y'all. It's like right. been the most awesome sleepover ever. Glad to have all of you. Thank you. And um, Sherry was awesome enough to come pick us up in Marion. Um, um, just I found him on Facebook and messaged them and asked her and she came and got us. So thank you so much. I'm so glad I didn't miss out on this. Glad to have you. So it was totally worth pushing the extra miles yesterday, even though I was a little sore. I didn't want to go on the pizza, the food, the people. It was all totally, totally worth it. Uh, I think I got in there around like 8 o'clock last night. Stuffed my face until like 9 and just went to bed. Uh, got up kind of early. Handled some business, you know, laundry, charging. Edited a few videos, that kind of stuff. While my clothes were drying. And then I'm finally back on trail. The guy who lives behind the church gave us a ride. I didn't catch his name, but definitely grateful for the hitch, whatever, because that point eight was a long point eight. I don't know, maybe it's just walking down the road that's different, but it's noon and I'm back on trail, feeling fully refreshed, ready to go. I grabbed a few snacks on my way out the door, so it's going to be a good day. I have a big 5.6 seven or 5.9 something like that we'll call it six a big six mile day it's a partnership shelter where you can order pizza and get a 50 cent ride to walmart so back to back good days are here so here's a list of what i ate between last night and this morning eight slices of pizza five pieces of cake two donuts a little tiny apple fritter thing, uh, two chili dogs, a pulled pork sandwich, three little bags of chips, and two sodas. Oh, 
and I almost got some venison chili right before I left, but I was just too full. I didn't want to put anything else in my stomach, especially if I'm doing a big six mile day today, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, six is probably all I could do after eating all that food. Ah, oh, it was good. I haven't eaten like that since I was on trail. So, super grateful, super thankful. And just the way stuff's working out is totally awesome. So because I was off trail, probably almost a mile, hanging out at the church, it wasn't quite accurate on how far I had to go for the day. So instead of doing four or five miles, it's more like that. He was laying on the damn trail when I come around the turn. Yep, he like jumped back. I took back. a step back real quick. <laughs> no, I bet. I was not expecting him. <laughs> Jerry and Sherry strike again. Whew. Little Debbie and some other guy that I haven't met yet, but I recognize him at the hiker feed. Just past me. And Jerry and Sherry are slack packing them. It's a partnership. How cool is that? Obviously that's not my hike, but these people were just out there helping in every way possible. I did sink laundry and was drying my clothes on the pavement because it was black and it actually worked pretty good. Dried them out pretty quick. But he was like, oh, add that to the list of things to add for next year. We'll put a clothesline up. And it's like these people are just trying to help. And they're doing everything they can. And it really shows. So thank you, Jerry and Sherry, from the whole hiker community. We love you. So this is my first ever Krabby Patty. Not bad. SpongeBob's got going on.
shelter on the wrong day. The police were just here. They've heard rumors that there's supposed to be some wild party here tonight. So now everybody's on edge. People are thinking about just moving out. I need to stick around because I need to get to Walmart. Where the heck am I gonna go, you know? They want that, that, that cookie right there more than they want to eat you.